This is a remarkably easy question, considering that we're pretty deep into the section at this point. This is the hard module. We're at question tw uh, 17 out of 22. I don't know why this is here. This is way easier than a lot of the stuff that came before it, but so it goes. Just make sure you understand the concept of an x-intercept. They kind of tell you in the answer choices, right? An x-intercept is where y is equal to zero. So to me, the easiest way to do this is just graph it, especially because you can see from the answer choices that the numbers are not like all over the place. So it's not like we're gonna have to search for this. So I took the liberty of graphing it here. The only change I made is for the sake of just entering things more easily, I changed f of x to y. And you can do that because literally they tell us, but that's kind of just what the definition of f of x is anyway. So that's an, an easy change. And you can see I've got a little bit of blue. I've got to shift around though to find the x-intercept, but here it is. It's just where it crosses the x-axis. If I tap it, it's gonna give me the point is 12, zero. That's choice D and that's the answer. So uh, that's like a two second question. Just make sure you enter it right. Um, we could do this also without any graphing, and honestly, the algebra here is not much harder. Again, if we know that an x-intercept is a y-coordinate of zero, then we just say, okay, zero is my y, and we're gonna solve for x when we plug that in. So, okay, we add 84 to both sides. You get 84 is 7x. You divide both sides by seven, and you get x equals 12. Maybe you don't know off the top of your head that 84 divided by seven is 12, but you got a calculator, so, and that can handle that part. So I don't know. This seems seems very, very easy. Um, I would be nervous because it's so easy and yet we're so late in the section. This is a place where I'd expect a trap. But this is why if you study and you know the concept, sometimes questions are just easy for you because you did your homework and you studied, right? Maybe this is hard for someone who hasn't studied because they don't know what an x-intercept is. They don't understand that they can graph this. I don't know. But hopefully just by seeing this video, Something like this will just be an easy couple points for you on your actual SAT.